Hey guys, it's Shara Night Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. So, welcome back to Inktober 2017, and this is from day 7 to day 9. And yes, I know that I am late. This video is late, and the reason being, <laughs> work has been so busy lately. Like, I don't even properly know what date it is, what date it is today. I just know that drawing-wise, I think I'm three days behind, so it's probably October 12 right now. And I know this video should have gone up on day 9, but man, I'm just so tired. <laughs> I haven't had time to video edit or to even draw for that matter. But the thing that has been keeping my company busy has passed for now, so I guess I'll be able to catch up. So I might be uploading the one for the one that I'm not, I haven't done yet, which is uh, day 10 to 12, uh, I'll be uploading that, I guess, after this, so probably on a Saturday, and then I'll be uploading, oh, wait, hmm, should be 13, so, right, I'll be uploading the one after, like, the day 10 to day 13 on Sunday, probably, so yes, I'll be skipping my Saturday video since it's near, um, it's near the deadline, whatever thing, man, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, the theme for this day, day 7, was shy, and the immediate idea that I had in my mind was the traditional Filipinian uh, uh, image of like in the Spanish colonial era of like these highbrow, highbrow, uh, I'm, I'm so tired I can't even talk properly. Um, yeah, I'm doing this in take one, one, blah, blah. I'm doing this in one take to save time, I need to catch up, and just forgive me for now. So, I was imagining these like uh, Maria Cl Maria Clara esque image of like these ladies hiding behind their thin uh, handheld fans, um, just lightly flapping and hiding behind them to be like shy and coy. But yeah, that's that's the image I went with. I had it in my brain, and I, since I was pretty tired. <laughs> I didn't really put too much effort. Like I, I like how it turned out, and I like the way that she looks to the camera. But I might redo this sometimes since I do like how it turned out, and I wanna, I might draw it digitally or even traditionally eventually, but not right now. So I'm using the Derwent Ink Dance pencils for some of the color, and then I realized I didn't really like the definition. Or, I couldn't really add a lot of definition since the paper doesn't really take water very well. So I ran in with some Faber Castle Pit Art, oh no, Faber Castle Polychromos colored pencils to give that definition and the extra color that I want. Whew! I need to catch up. Okay, next. So this is day 8, which is a theme crooked. Originally, I wanted to draw a witch with a crooked nose, like the one in Snow White and the Seven Dwarves in the Disney version, or maybe like even Malef Maleficent for that matter, but I noticed I've been drawing too many people once again, so I wanted to draw like a tree or something. And it so happens, I've, I've been watching Zetsuwe no Tempest, which is a pretty kinda slightly oldish anime. Uh, I read the manga before and then I watched. I'm watching the anime recently, I'm about to finish it. And it involves a lot of trees, so I drew trees. <laughs> uh, I do need to catch up on my anime though. Um, Katsugeki Tohen Land was finished, so I guess that's done. I need to catch up on Fate Apocrypha. I need to catch up on Knights and Magic. And what else am I watching right now? Oh, Recreators, I guess. I have to finish that. Hmm. Yeah. But regardless, uh, there's just like. I want to draw a tree, and trees are like really twisted and crooked, but crooked in the sense that it's not straight, and not because it's evil or anything, but I did kind of make it look a bit evil given how, I don't know, the, the way it sprawls out on the paper makes it look like really, uh, like it's trying to crawl and try to get ya. Uh, it looks crooked and evil in a sense. So since I was kind of tired and I thought like I just wanted I just want to do the challenge and like, I need to get the drawings out. Um, I switched to a normal pen, so that like, you can see it's a pen with a heart on, on it. It's actually a pretty good pen, it's nice to write with, and then the ink flows really well. 
Um, but it's not my normal drawing pens. It's just like I said, I felt like I needed practice, like really loose and fast sketches. It isn't something I really do very often. I like having a lot of control and uh, refined, uh, what I guess, refined look to my pieces, to my line nights. At least I take a lot of pride into drawing fast and pretty good line art. It's my specialty, I guess. So doing like really fast and loose sketches are a bit more of a challenge to me than what you would think. So once again, I soup in with my Sakura Koi watercolors because it's really the fastest to use. I originally planned to just, you know, complete Inktober with just purely ink uh, medium, but I can't do it. <laughs> I need, I need more time, energy, and motivation to do that. Oh man. I think I just I'm just kind of stuck right now. I need to get out of this rut. Um, I need to get my shit together is what I'm trying to say. But I actually do like how this one turned out. Um, the watercolor kind of did help a lot with the feel of the piece. Okay, so this is day 9. The theme is Screech. It's actually kind of amusing that it's like two somewhat negative vibe-ish themes in a row. Uh, so Screech. I immediately thought of like a banshee or a vampire or something of like that sort, so that's what I kind of went with. Uh, this time I didn't do any pencil, which is slightly nerve-wracking since I've gotten used to putting that on construction line first. So I just tried to like feel my way around to get the anatomy to look okay. And whew, speed editing. Speed, 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 speed. Gotta, gotta go fast. <laughs> um, again, I wanted to do a looser sketch. And I feel like for this particular piece, it did turn out. It gave that really shaky, um, unhinged, nerve wracking. I don't know how to describe it, like this gritty feeling that it's not refined. Because I feel like if I went with my usual, uh, very controlled line art, it would still convey what I want to convey, but it wouldn't be as effective as with this loose sketch. And again, watercolor, because like I just needed to get it done. It's it's turning out that for this particular Inktober, unlike last year, last year was really like honing my skills, uh, trying or conquering my intimidation with um, ink medium. This particular Inktober is a is a test of my ability to stick to things, particularly a, a 30 day challenge, which right now I'm fading miserably. I am three days behind. I will catch up. Um, I'm not sure how refined the works will be, but I will catch up. Catch up. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. So I wanted to go with like really bright and aggressive colors. Yellow, yellow. Uh, if you strike, is super aggressive. So yeah, watch me struggle <laughs> to the next couple of days of October. So follow me on Tumblr and Instagram DeviantArt, and or like and subscribe this video. Subscribe to me rather. <sighs> I'll see you around. <laughs>